Hello everyone and welcome to Thursday's edition of the vlog. I've been a bit unwell the last couple of days so I'm going to do my best to do a vlog for you guys because I do it every Monday and Thursday so I'll do my best. I've actually taken a couple of days off work just to recover. Nothing too serious, just had you know a bit of a tummy bug, stuff like that. So I think the best thing to do this episode is give you a bit of a rundown of the spotteds and I'll show you the other animals that I have here including Harlow the Roddy and the other uh, cats that we have here. So let's get started with that, hey? All right, so with the spotties now, I'm watching the female very closely because they've had a very uh, a lot of locks at the moment, which is a good sign for the mating uh, which these guys are going through right now. It's been quite cool in Queensland, so the spotters have seemed to pretty much snap straight into it. But as you can see down here, you've got the female being inquisitive again, but she is actually looking quite chunky, and it's, it's a good, really good, uh, promising signs, which is great. Um, they locked yesterday and haven't seen much today, but we'll see how we go anyway. But there's the update for you. She's got a lovely iridescence to her at the moment, which is great. Uh, I'm not sure if you can pick that up or not. Hopefully you can, but that's the update for the spotties. Here's Ollie. Hello, darling. This is our ginger ninja. And we got him in Melbourne as a little, little kitten for Brooklyn. Um, went before she was born. So this the main reason to get this guy was for Brooklyn and they do have a bit of fun. Um, but, you know, cats are a bit different. But we keep our cats indoors at all times um, just because of the fact that cats are one of the main reasons why our nat native wildlife are being killed and becoming more and more vulnerable to extinction. So being a responsible pet owner here and keeping our little fur babies inside. We have our other lovely little girl here, Rogue, which we've had. Uh, Shanice moved down to Melbourne um, a fair few years ago now um, when we were just dating and this was the first animal that we got together. So this is Rogue and she's a lovely girl. She's a bit anxious at times, but she does love sleeping on Brooklyn's bed, as you can see here. Uh, but Again, being a responsible pet owner and keeping them indoors, and they actually love it. As long as you've got enough food for them, enough water, and a bit of a play area, it's absolutely fine. Now, if you've all watched my vlogs from beginning to end, you will have seen Harlow at least once. And she is a lovely, lovely girl, and I'm glad that I got her when I did. It was a bit of a, a challenging time. Uh, buying her because I didn't tell Shanice about it and then just rocked up to her sister's place and thank you again Kayla for that um, But she was a bit angry with me for a while But it's easier to ask for forgiveness and she loves her just as much as I do so come here. Hello. Come on You're lazy. She's lazy today. Let's have a look. Hello. Come here. Come here Hello. Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. Oh Here's the gorgeous girl. Hello, puppy. She's a lovely, lovely girl. Big sook. And she loves Brooklyn. And Brooklyn loves her. We all love her. And Roddy seems to get a bit of a bad rap um, as aggressive dogs. But look at this. <laughs> How can this be aggressive? All she wants is cuddles and love. Oh, darling. I love you too. With that said, everyone, I'm going to go ahead and shut it off here. I'm sorry I couldn't be as upbeat as I normally am, but still trying to battle this um, sickness. I'm not really eating too much at the moment, but don't stress. I'll be all sweet. Uh, but until then, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and of course, I'll see you guys on Monday.